Hi, this video is for people looking for information on the MAC-T surfboard. I looked around the internet to find some information on how these boards did, uh, sales-wise and, and otherwise, and see if they made new ones still. I was kind of thinking about getting a 9-footer. This is an 8-footer. Uh, just about no information, and I think this was one of those ideas that was so good or so bad that it failed. Usually if I like a product and think it's awesome, it's doomed to failure. Uh, so this is a surfboard made of PVC plastic. What does that mean? It means no dings and it's it's a whole lot stronger than your traditional fiberglass surfboard. Uh, it's got hard foam rails and it's got foam on top. They also made models that, that just had PVC on top that you could wax like a traditional surfboard so it wouldn't look, uh, look like a rubber board. Made by... Uh, they called it a MAC-T made by Bob McTavish in Australia. There's his contact information. I bought this in uh, 1997 and it still works great. My son is actually learning to surf on it now. This is an eight footer. They made nine footers, but at the time I was living in a little one bedroom studio apartment with a bed and a stove and a sink in one room and a bathroom in the other. So I needed something that would stand up in the corner of my bathroom so nobody would steal it. The nine footer was just too long. But this is the board I learned to surf on. Works great. Used it in, uh, the biggest wave I surfed on it was about 10 feet and it did great. Just, uh, you know, hooked into it and tracked perfectly all the way down the wave. Very controllable, pretty easy to turn because it's fairly narrow. It weighs about 15 pounds, so it's a little bit heavier than your uh, traditional fiberglass uh, and uh, styrofoam board. And it is at the widest point, this is an eight footer, maybe sort of a mini long board, so at the, the widest point it's about 21 and a half inches. And uh, if, if Adam West, the original Batman, had a surfboard, this would be it. I expect if Barney the Purple Dinosaur had a surfboard, this would also be his board of choice. Uh, why were they not more popular? Because it's a great idea. It never needs repair. You can get into the rocks with it. Uh, it's got FCS fins on it, so if you don't like the fins, you can replace them, or if you break a fin, you can replace it. So why wasn't this, the MAC-T, a great hit? I think part of it is because it looks like a beginner board, and people are pretty self-conscious about, you know, being called a kook and a beginner and told to get out of the water and all the territorial surfer things that, that traditionally go on. Um, if you're a pretty decent surfer and you want to be comfortable on your board, this is a great one. It's, it's soft, does what a regular board can do. It's a little bit heavier. It's 15 pounds versus, uh, what, like 12 pounds for a regular board of that size? So the, the rubber does weigh it down a little bit, but they did have the option of just going with the rubber rails and having uh, wax on top. So let's see how it works in the water. My son is learning how to surf. This would be a video of his second attempt at surfing. Okay, you ready? Go out there, turn around, and then wait for a wave and then paddle in. This may be a good one. There you go, that one will push you. Go ahead and try it. Paddle, paddle, paddle. 